Hi everyone, welcome to day two of um, this Facebook online party. Okay, so today I am go I don't have much color on my face. Um, and there's a reason for that, because I am going to teach you how to apply lip sense, shadow sense, and blush in this video. So let's start with one of my favorite products um, besides lip sense, and that is the shadow sense, okay? So the shadow sense, comes in many colors and as you can see it looks like the lip sense and it even has a wand like the lip sense but this is a cream to powder um, shadow I'm sorry I'm kind of slow today okay so this is a cream to, sh to powder shadow so what that means is that it applies on like a cream you see and then um, you can blend it in and it sets like a powder. The good thing about this is that it has skincare in it. So when you're applying shadow on your eyes, you're doing your eyes a benefit because you're taking care of your skin and your eyes with the shadow sense. And because of the cream, you can blend colors to, be, to create your own new shades. And it's easy to blend the colors in your um, when you're applying it because it's still creamy while you're applying it so it's easy to blend one of my uh what, what i like the most about the shadows is that you don't get that mess that you usually get in this area when you're doing the traditional shadows that are um do you get that dust falling and if you drop them they just shatter not with the shadow sense so it's good for you and it's fun and easy to use so let's start with my favorite colors the first thing that I do is uh, apply this color, Sandstone Pearl, as a base um, on all the... Um, today I am not doing well. <laughs> I'm trying to think on my um, eyelids. Okay, so let's do that. Okay, so I apply it in my eyelids like so. And you know what? You can use this as a concealer as well. This color, because this is cream to powder, you can use shadows for anything. You can use it to contour, to do blush, to do your um, shadows, to use just as a liner, to fill your eyebrows. They're just multi-purpose. And in anywhere you use on your face, it's good for your skin. So that's a no-brainer with the shadows. They're really amazing. So I just, I'm gonna use a bigger brush. Okay. So I'm just gonna um, blend it in my skin here. See? So a good color to do, um, to do it as a concealer is a sandstone pearl or the candlelight. Those are two good colors that you can use as a base. Okay, so I do that. I just apply it all over my lid as a base for my other colors. Again, for those of you that are joining in, this is Shadow Sense, has skincare in it, cream to powder found, um, shadows that you can use as shadows, to fill your brows, to do as liner, to use for contouring, to do as blush. They're just amazing. Okay, so I have my base on. Now I'm going to go with one of my other favorite colors and that is Mocha Java, okay? So I'm just gonna put this in this area right here. I'm just gonna dab a little bit. A little bit goes a long way. So this little tube will last you for a long time. And then I'm gonna use this other brush to blend it in just over this area right here. Actually, let me use this mirror. Okay. It doesn't have to be perfect because when I keep adding all the rest of the colors, I'm gonna blend those. See that? So this line right here, I'm just gonna blend that with the other color later on. So I'm just gonna leave it like that. Okay. I'm gonna do that in this side as well. Just on my, the lower part of my lid. My lid. Like so. Okay, so I'm gonna take a um, darker color called Garnet. 
And then I'm just going to do my crease with this color. I'm gonna apply a little bit right here and just a little bit because it goes a long way. I'm kinda nervous doing this um, live. I hope it turns out well because, you know, when you're nervous sometimes things don't work out, but it's gonna be good. So I just take this other brush and I just dab where the crease area is. And I'm just gonna dab it over here like if it was a liner as well. You see how they blend? Well, they're amazing. I love them. I really do. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing on the other eye. The trick is trying to get both eyes to look the same. We'll work on that. Okay, so I'm just gonna put, I can just brush it off the little tube there because I really don't need that much. Okay. Okay, so it's mostly like, I like to blend like this, dabbing. I don't know why, it just blends really well like that. Okay, so because I don't like this difference between the highlighted area and the more colored area, I use a little bit of candlelight again. I mean, um, sandstone pearl, I already used this but I'm gonna do it like a second layer again to help with blending, okay? And actually, I'm going to do that as well in this area right here. All right, so it's good to highlight under your eyebrows and then just go into this blending here. You see how that smoothed it out? It looks a little bit more like, the transition doesn't look that marked. I don't know if you can tell from my video, but look at this side. I'm just dabbing where the colors meet so that they mix a little bit and blend. And so the transition looks smoothly. And I'm gonna do the same thing right here. Okay, let's do the other eye. Okay, so I'm just gonna dab where the colors meet. Kind of blend them together. I'm sorry, because this is live, I can't fast forward it, but, so you're gonna have to bear with me. If you have any questions, let me know. Again, this is Shadow Sense with skincare in it, awesome product. It doesn't feel that you have junky stuff on your face. It's, it feels natural, smooth, just like you, haven't, you don't have anything. Sometimes I forget I, I have noticeable, like very bright colors on my face throughout the day and at the end of the day, oh, I had that much makeup today. Cause it doesn't, you don't feel that you have that much makeup on, it's, it's pretty neat. Okay, so now I like to do darker right in the border of my eye, like a liner, and I'm gonna use um, Onyx. I'm sorry, the name rubbed off, but this is Onyx. This is black, jet black. I don't want it jet black, so I am going to mix it with the color I just used, which is Garnet, okay? So I'm just using my countertop right here to mix the two colors, because I forgot to get my palette. And that's quite all right, because it's easy to clean. All right. So I just put a little bit of each, just a little dab, and then I mix the colors up a little bit right here. So the black is not jet black, but it's still pretty dark. Okay. Is it waterproof? It, it's water resistant. 
So you can get rained on, you can cry, you can, um, yeah, you can even take a quick dip and you will still have your makeup on. Um, foundation, there's two foundations. The original formula is waterproof. So you can keep your foundation when you go to the beach. And, and the, the second foundation, the anti-aging one, is water resistant. So you still get your makeup most of the day or all the day. So here we go. I'm just going to put a little bit here. And I always do it like a line. You see that line? It's not going to look like that. I just don't want to go past that line because when I do this line, that if I continue this line, it will connect with my eyebrow, with the end of my eyebrow. I want to paint from inside this line. Why? Because it lifts my eyes up. I don't want dragging eyes, like droopy eyes. And it just brightens, you know, it's a technique I learned recently and it really works. So you might want to try it. So do a line kind of like upwards that it wouldn't meet your eyebrow if you continue it. Okay, so I'm not gonna leave it like that. Now I'm going to do blending. Um, I'll get another brush for that. And I'm just going to dab again because I don't like this line to look that defined right now. I just wanna murky, um, I don't know, that's not the word looking for. So, blurred. So you see how easy it is to blend just by like dabbing. All right, so, and I can continue this. I like to continue this a little bit under my eye. That same line, I bring it down just a little bit. You see? And I just blur it a little bit so it's not as defined. I can go in, I can go with this darker color more into my crease if I want. I don't usually do that because then I'll have really dark eyes and I'm not going anywhere special. Um, and also if I go all the way in with darker colors, my eyes look smaller. So I don't want to do that either. So that's the blending of the dark color. All right, so let's try to do that on the other side now. Okay, just a little bit. I'll do that line again. That would meet with my eyebrows. And just dab a little color right here, halfway. I think I need a little bit more. And just so you know, I wear glasses usually. And since I'm not, I'm kind of blind right now. So I'm really hoping it looks okay on your end. And I'm being totally honest here. Okay. I'm taking longer in this video, of course, because I'm talking and I'm trying to make it look as best as possible. But usually I put this on so quickly in the morning. And it's fun. I find it fun because it looks really nice. And there are many colors. I posted a catalog this morning in the group. So you can see all the colors that there are. Okay, so got my wet eyes. Okay, so now I'm going to just bring that color a little bit down here. Okay, so does that look alike? It's kind of even. Okay, so if I want a darker liner, then I'll go back in and just do another line and not blend it in as much. But I think I'm gonna leave it like that. Now, I still have a lot of product on my brush because it's you don't use that much. So one shadow sense can last you a year and in, in good condition with good benefits for your skin. 
So what am I gonna do with this brush that has a lot? I'm gonna fill in my eyebrows. I usually, I have already thick eyebrows, but I can make them look better. I have some areas here that don't have that much hair growing, you see? So I am going to use this product and just fill in my eyebrows. And because it's water resistant, it won't, <laughs> if you get rained on, it's you're not gonna have like black face. Don't worry, it stays there. When it sets, you can pass your, your fingers on it and it's it's still there. I mean, you're not going to get a mess. It's not going to get blurry. Uh, your sweat is not going to make it runny. So, I'm just lining my eyebrows a little bit. So weatherproof, water resistant, sweat proof, awesome makeup. Where's my... So when you buy a shadow sense, you're really not buying only shadow. You're you're buying your brow filler. You're buying this is not it. Where is it? Okay, you're buying contouring for contouring. You're buying for highlight. Your concealer at the same time. You're getting a lot of stuff. One amazing product. Okay, so, you see the difference? I think I might have overdone it, but I just want you to be able to see on your side. Okay, I can do the same thing on this side. And if you're, I mean, if I, I probably wanna do a lighter color because I think I did, I probably did too much black. Um, but that's okay, I just, I'm doing this so you can see how we can use the shadow sense for more than just shadow. And this one, this one turned out better. See? Okay. <laughs> All right. So. Okay. So that's that. All right. So. I'm trying to fix it, but since it's already set, it's not gonna move. It's not gonna move, it's gonna be there all day. I think this part is darker on the other side. Okay, so now what? Let me see someone. You have to change it, let's see. Oh yeah, absolutely. This is going to last you for a long time. And I, some of this product, like the Lip Sense, Lip Sense contains, where's my Lip Sense? Okay. Let me just pick a random color here. Lipsense has SD40, which is a cosmetic grade alcohol in it. So what does that do? It helps with the blending of the ingredients and it also keeps all the content of your product bacteria free. So when you purchase your lipstick, you have basically new lipstick every time you use it for as long as it lasts. And one, one of these tubes can last you, if you use it every day, one color every day, maybe six months six to nine months, depending on how much and how you apply it. But you're not gonna use one color. You're gonna use many colors because you're gonna get uh, addicted. I'm, I, trust me, <laughs> it's addictive. So um, you'll have lipstick for a long time. And the content of this tube is equal to four lipsticks. That's right. It brings a lot of product. It's not, I mean, some people say, oh, it's kind of pricey. Well, what you expect, this is a high quality product made in a laboratory environment that is good for your skin and has more product in it than any of the other comparable high quality lipsticks out there. Plus it's the only lead and wax free long lasting color in the market. So it's a great investment. Plus you get two or three colors and you're actually getting like 27 colors because you can mix and combine. So it's awesome that it lasts that long. Okay, so now um, I'm gonna use my mascara. Okay, so this is Lash Sense. There's also Lash Sense with Under Sense and what Under Sense does is it's like a two-step product 
you put the understands first to thicken your eye, eyelashes and, and make them look longer and thicker and fuller. And then you put the other step, which is the actual mascara on top. Uh, but I am going to just use the one step lash sense, the traditional one. It's waterproof. I don't know about you, but I hate waterproof mascaras because they always feel tough and hard and gunky. And then when you're going to take them off, it's really tough and you sometimes you lose half your lashes taking a waterproof mascara off. I don't know if that's your case, but that's my case and I hate it. So when I realized that the lash sense is waterproof, I was kind of bummed. But I decided to give it a try and I love it. And I'll tell you why. Because it does not harden and feel gunky on your eyelashes like regular waterproof mascara. And it's easy to take off. The company also sells, um, it's called Foops. And I just put it on a little um, cotton cloth here and I just wipe it clean and it comes out easy without you losing all your lashes, okay? So Lash Sense is awesome. It's waterproof so you can cry all you want and not get all your face stained and it doesn't feel waterproof. That's, that's the awesome part. Okay, so let's stop talking here because I can talk a lot. And just put it on. I usually like to layer all, to get, you know, fuller effect, but because I don't want to have you waiting a lot, I'm just going to do a simple layer. Okay. And it's good for your lashes. I don't have the wording right now, but it hydrates and coats your lashes and protects them as well. So, I mean, when they create these products, they create them with benefits in mind. Benefits for your skin, in this case, for your lashes. So, if you go online and look for reviews on all these products, you will find that they are amazing. When I signed up, I signed up without trying, with having tried, tried it. I mean, I wanted it, but because I have this business mentality, <laughs> I thought, okay, I can buy this set for 55, or I can join for 55, and buy all I want at, retail, at wholesale. And that's what I did. And so I didn't try it until I was already a distributor and, and I was amazed and so happy that I did. Of course, I, I did my research. I checked on the, the product reviews and there were no negative product reviews. So I just jumped in and I haven't looked back once because I love it. Okay, so I forgot to use this. <clears throat> so you have any questions, let me know. This is Silver Shine. It's another one of the shadows. And I always use it, obviously, before my mascara. But I just want to do it so that you can see how... Ah, sorry. Okay, so this is kind of like a translucent um, shadow but is like shiny glittery. And I can mix it with any other of the colors to make them shiny glittery, or I can use it as a highlight by itself. So it's, it's pretty neat. I like that one. And I always like to do right here, the tear duct, kind of brighten that up a bit. Would have been better before the mascara, but okay. Again, this is live, not rehearsed. Sorry, okay. So my eyes are done. I like how they turned out. I hope you do too. Um, and I'll, I'll, I'll post in the comments below the colors that I've used in case you, you're wondering what colors I used. I know I mentioned them, but you know, I'll, I'll write them down. Now, um, let me show you what I do on my cheeks. This is a blush, cream to powder as well. So, and this blush I can also use as shadow and um, there are several colors that you can use for contouring as well. What I use of this, it's this much. 
that much. So this little thing will last me for a long time, maybe nine months, because this is the only thing I'm using, okay? And I use it with a brush. Okay, so this is the trick. You smile, and this area right here, where you normally get sunburn, that's where you're gonna do the blush. And you're gonna do it like if it was a Nike mark, like that, okay? So, right here, and this side. All right, and now it's time to blend in. I'm gonna use another brush to do that. See how that little dot, it's a lot? You have to really blend it well because now I have really pink cheeks. <clears throat> I think I put a little bit too much, but it's good because then you can really tell that I have it on. You know, just adding some color to my face. All right. I don't have that much on, but in this video, it looks like I have a lot on. That's okay. So that's the blush for you. Cream to powder. It sets as a powder really soft and nice on your skin, okay? Now, I love this next product. It is um, like the powder you use on your face, but it's a bron bronze dust. And I like this to use it right here and here for a little bit of contouring. And I'm not gonna do that much, but I, if, if I can go really dark to make it really drastic. But I like it because it gives me a bronze look. See how that kind of like contours my face a little bit? Look. You see? And I also put a little bit on this. It's kind of shiny, bronzy looking. It's it's a pretty color. I don't think you can tell that it it's it's not shimmery. Okay. And again, all the makeup has skincare, even the powder. All right, so guess what time it is? Yes, it's time for lip sense. Okay, so lip sense is not a traditional lipstick. So there are some rules to follow. First, make sure that your lips are clean and dry. This is my little bottle of witch hazel, which I use on my clients and on myself to make sure I clean off any saliva, any residual products from anything else, from the environment, from me talking a little bunch, from my makeup, my foundation. So I'm just gonna swipe it. There. Clean and it dries up quickly. Now let me choose a color. Hmm, what color shall I choose? Um Hmm. This is the hardest part because all of them are so beautiful. Um, let me put a color. Any suggestions? <laughs> I have the diamond. Do you want to see the diamond? Let's do the diamond. Mm. Crimson red might be too red for today. Caramel apple diamonds. Pretty neat. Okay, so diamond colors. You apply them the same way. So they are limited edition. These are limited edition colors and they came out this month on the 14th and they are already sold out, most of them. I think the crimson red is the only one that is available. And what does this sold out mean? It means that it's not being produced anymore. It, I mean, in two weeks, they're gone because they are so, so pretty and everyone wants them. Okay, I do have most of them. 
because I ordered a lot when they came out. So you can still get them through me. Okay. Let me clean my lips again because I did a lot of checking. All right. So <clears throat> this is the Lip Sense Cran Caramel Apple Diamond. It has a silver lid uh, label. Normal ones have a black label. And this is how you apply it. First, you mix. You mix to make sure that SD40 blends everything well in there and that you don't get a high concentration on, on your lips. Because if your lips are, if you're a newbie, if your lips are dry and not in the best condition, um, unfortunately, uh, you might, might, because it does not happen to everyone, you might feel a tingling sensation from that SD40. But remember, this SD40 is keeping everything here clean and awesome. So, as the more you use the color with your gloss and your lips are going to get better and that sensation is not going to, you're not going to have it anymore. So I'm just mentioning that because any newbies out there that are going to try the product, I just want to let you know the first time you use it, you might feel a little kick because of this SD40 cosmetic Greek alcohol. And that is normal. Once you finish applying it and put your gloss on, you will stop feeling that. And the more you use it, it's going to go away. Okay, so three layers. While you apply your layers before your gloss, do not put your lips together because they will stick. Okay, so three layers. Here you go. Okay. The outside and the inside. I missed this one. And then the Another layer. Okay, that's one. It, it dries quickly, so I can do a second layer on my top lip already. Oh. Two layers. And it's already dry. If I clean it quickly, I can get it out, but if I let it dry, <laughs> unless you have the oops remover, Okay, and the third layer in the garden. Okay, look at that color. It has actual crushed diamonds in it. <laughs> I'm sorry, try not to put my lips together. All right, time for a gloss. I don't have to mix the gloss. I'm sorry. All right. So because this is my texture, I'm going to put it on my finger. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay. And I would it through my lips. Okay. All right. Other finger. Okay, now I can talk normal. Once you put that gloss on, that color seals it. I mean, it, it, the gloss seals the color to your lips. And um, it will stay there. Check this out. I just put it on. See? I might probably rub some of the gloss off, but the color is on all day. And I'm gonna put a little bit more gloss on. <clears throat> the gloss, I said that yesterday, I said this yesterday in the video that I did. So <clears throat> the color is a semi-permeable membrane, 
And why is that important? Because that means it's not a thick coat of something blocking your pores. It permits the gloss to go through the color into your lips and get to the lower cells that are coming up to make them hydrated and more healthy so that when they move to the, lower, the upper layer, you have awesome looking lips. So the gloss, vitamin E shea, um, shea butter is what's gonna make your lips hydrated and retains moisture. The combination of lip scents, the color and gloss, will block all the um, yucky stuff in the atmosphere and it protects against the sun's rays. So it's a pretty awesome thing. You get awesome lips that are going to even get healthier. All right, so I think I've covered everything. I did my eyes, did my cheeks, and my lips. And I am ready to look awesome all day. All right, so um, this has been the video for this morning. Let me know if you have any questions. Tomorrow I'll see you again with another live video and we'll go into a little bit more of the skincare and foundations as well. All right? Well, thank you very much for joining me and you have an awesome day. Bye-bye.